Let's make Hasselback potatoes. It's fancy. It's kind of old fashioned, like kind of 60s and 70s, but it's delicious and it's almost like a mix between mashed potatoes and potato chips. It's the bomb. Hasselback. Name, reason unknown. The first thing you're gonna do uh, before you cut your potatoes is make the sort of sauce. The sauce consists of some butter and some herbs and salt and pepper. So you're just gonna take, thyme is nice, a little bit of sage. Always be careful with sage because it's, uh, if you use too much sage, it can taste like medicine. So as usual, you're just gonna strip the flowers and leave the stick. Okay. I'm gonna take some parsley, which has been washed and thoroughly dried in a paper towel, and do a little quick chiffonade, mind your fingers. It doesn't have to be too fancy. Throw that in. And then we're just gonna take this to the stove uh, and melt it. And we're gonna use that to um, paint on the potatoes, you'll see. It's fabulous. Now's the time to do this. Hasselback potatoes. I don't know where the name comes from. You can look it up. Are basically potatoes that are cut into tiny slices, but not through to the bottom. You could do that like this. Or you could use a trick. Take two spoons of like thickness. I'm gonna put this at a slight angle. Kind of hold the spoons and the potato. You can also use two chopsticks, which we chose in Valentine colors. Like a Valentine alien. See what I'm doing here? You want the spoons like this and the potato resting in the middle so that the bottom of the potato doesn't get cut. It's stopped by, the knife is stopped by the spoons. Oops. This is the best one I've ever done. Yikes, I'm gonna turn it around. Ah, I'm making a potato fan. That's right, Leonard. Oh, Leonard. Okay, this is the best one I've ever done. So it should open up slightly like a fan, like a, do anybody wanna play cards? Be careful because if you pull them, they will break because there's only a tiny distance down here. So put them in a nice little, you are gonna be murdered, cooked and eaten. Do you understand me? I'm gonna do it. Okay, grab your pot of melted butter and bring it over to your workstation. It's nice to do this. If I had rosemary, rosemary might be slightly better choice, but put, put some herbs in your little area just to frag make a nice fragrance. And then you're gonna take a brush, as I've told you I believe before, buy the silicone ones. The, the hair one, the, they just don't work and they deposit little hairs, it's awful. So you're gonna take your thing like this and you're gonna paint all over these, okay? You're gonna paint them and then you're gonna do this. You're gonna kinda open the folds and pour in the butter, said the actress to the bishop. <laughs> You wanna make sure that it, it gets into all of those little crevices. And keep the, the remainder here because you might paint them a couple times while they're in the oven. So leave that where, you, where it's handy. And then we're gonna take this to the oven which is at about 400 degrees. About, takes about an, an hour and change. Goodbye potatoes. So your potatoes are ready. We're gonna take them out. And they've turned in to gorgeous potato chip baked potatoes. We're just gonna take the leftover butter and kind of pour it over like this. Try to get into all the little flaps like that. Oh yeah, boom, boom, boom. Hasselback potatoes. 
I mean, elegant, gorgeous, yummy. What more could you ask for in a potat? You know they used to call them Mickeys in the 30s? I'm making a potato fan. That's right, Leonard.